Hey, howdy, hey. It's Woody again. Sorry it's been a while. We watched Woody Watches Thomas, but we are, But I'm trying to get back on it so we can get to a Halloween episode coming soon in the 31st. So we are still on the best of James, and the last episode we watched was Percy, James, and the Fruity Day. So now we're on to James Goes Buzz Buzz. I'll grab the Xbox controller and play, and we'll get on to our episode. James Goes Buzz Buzz. Birds were singing, apples were ripening on the trees. It was a I can tell. Hello, Trevor, said James. You look as bright and cheerful as my red paint. Oh, I am, replied Trevor. Well, that's a good compliment, James. Good. It's the bees, laughed Trevor. They're all in these foxy things called beehives, and I'm taking them to the station. The vicar says his bees make good honey, and he's giving some of them to his friend. It's true, bees do make good honey. Just then, Boko, the diesel engine, hummed in. And there comes Boko. Take care, you two. Don't make the bees angry. They might sting you. James didn't like being told what to do by a diesel, and he buzzed away. Huh. Well, buzzed away. That's a good Goodbye, one. Goodbye, Trevor, called Boko, and set off to see Doc at the next station. Bill and Ben, the tank engine twins, were busy arranging cars, but they scampered off when they saw Boko. Yep, and we all know that episode when the twins met him. I remember the first time I met those two, laughed Boko. They nearly made my eyes pop out. Edward soon put a stop to their games. Yep, it's true. Edward is the only one who can keep Bill and Ben in order, chuckled Duck. I sometimes call them the bees. A good name, replied Boko. They're terrors when they start buzzing around. Hmm, well, that's another good joke from the Roasted Twins. James bustled in. What's that, Duck? Are you afraid of bees? They're only insects, after all. So don't let that Buzzbox Diesel tell you different. His name is Boko, and he didn't. We... I wouldn't care if hundreds were swarming around. I'd just blow smoke and make them buzz off. Well, I don't think you would do that, James. Buzz, 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 retorted Duck. <laughs> good one, Duck. <laughs> James arrived at the station to collect his coaches. The passengers were excited, keen to get on board. The platform was crowded, and the porter was in a hurry. Delivering beehives. Mind your backs, he shouted. Then there was trouble. The beehive fell and broke open. Oh, no. The station cleared like magic. Oh, dear. James heard a familiar buzzing. Bees were too cold to be crossed, so they buzzed around the fireman, hoping he'd mend their hive. But he didn't understand. You know, I kind of like the animation of, the, of making so little bees, bees little dots as, as the bees. His like the animation nice <laughs> that they did on James is really cool. Buzz off! Buzz off! hissed James. One bee burned his foot. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh. The bee even like the James had burned him on purpose. Oh, even like the bee effect uh, animation design. Like live action with the fake. So it stung the, James. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. He had had enough. So had his fireman driver. That's gonna leave a mark for you, James. They didn't notice till too late that they had left all their coaches behind. No, oh, dear. They tried everything to get rid of the bees. First they spun on the turntable, but to no avail. Nope. They tried washing them off. But the bees clung harder to James's warm boiler. Nope. Then they tried smoking them off by going through a long time. But still, the bees wouldn't go away. That's not good. It's no good, James, said his driver. We'll just have to go back to the orchard and fetch another hive. Wish they would have thought of that. I was drowned by the sound of buzzing. Oh, jeez, James. The was waiting anxiously for James. When he arrived, the bees swarmed straight into their new home. Oh, good. Come on, James, said his driver. What you need now is a good hose down. All right. That's what, that's what you need, James. James was resting in the shed when the vicar came to see him. <laughs> Thank you for saving my bees, he said. It's a pity it's not Christmas. Then we could call you James the Red-Nosed Engine. Oh, good one. <laughs> Even James. James the Red Nose Engine. They decided to call James the Bee's Knees, which means they thought he was more useful than ever. That's a good one. Let's end our episode right here. So that's another episode of Woody Watches Thomas, and 
we'll get to our last episode t tomorrow. So, see you soon for, for our next episode. So long, partners.